we're asked to write a difference for each number line model. For any subtraction problem, the first value is the menu end, the value being subtracted is called the scepter hand, the result of the subtraction is called the difference. When looking at a number line model for subtraction, the menu end of the first value is always indicated by the arrow starting at zero, in this case the blue arrow. Notice the blue arrow starts at zero and jumps to eight, which means the first value in the subtraction problem, or the menu end, is eight. Next, we know we have subtraction because the red arrow moves from the right to the left, or decreases the value of eight. Notice how the red arrow starts at eight and jumps back to three. Three is not the value being subtracted, Three is the result of the subtraction, which is called the difference, which means we know eight minus the scepter hand must equal three. To determine the scepter hand, we need to determine how many units we moved left from eight back to three. Let's go ahead and count those units, starting at eight. We move left one, two, three, four, five units back to three, which means the scepter hand is five, or we are subtracting five from eight. This number line models eight minus five equals three. Looking at the second model, notice how the arrow starting at zero with a blue arrow starts at zero and jumps out to 17. Notice how the number line has labels every two units, but tick marks every one unit. So this tick mark here is 17, again giving us the menu end. Again, because the red arrow moves from right to left, we know we are subtracting, and notice how the red arrow starts at 17 and moves back to what would be 11 on the number line. 11 is not the scepter hand. 11 is a result of the subtraction or the difference, which means we know 17 minus the scepter hand must equal 11. To determine the value subtracted or the scepter hand, we need to determine how many units from 17 back to 11 indicated by the red arrow. So we will go ahead and count those units. From 17 we have one, two, three, four, five, six units back to 11, which means the scepter hand is six, or we are subtracting six from 17. Giving us the subtraction problem, 17 minus six equals 11. I hope you found this helpful.